how is the team feeling physically and mentally after just overcoming three games in seven days? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think guys are, um, you know, obviously a bit fatigued, but we've got a full week of preparation now for the Galaxy, which is important uh, to, to get the legs back under us, get refocused, and uh, go play a good team uh, in L.A. Just seeing how crammed everything is in the Eastern Conference with you guys right up there in third place, what do you think needs to be done in order to separate yourselves from the rest of the group? Well, I mean, we, need, we need to go on another run. Um, I think another strong one run from us will, will cement ourselves near the top of, to, to, of the table, and I think that's going to be very important for us going forward. We can't be content with staying with the pack. We need to get a bit away from the pack, you know, sort of like a, a DC is right now. but. Oh, we always say games in hand are uh, a scary thing because you count them as points when they're not already points. And um, we're taking that mindset in to know that um, we need to get points from these games in hand and separate ourselves from the pack. What's it like facing a, a striker like Robbie Keane? Yeah, he's a very good player. He's a smart player. I mean, similar to Avia in that they they aren't just scorers. They make the game in so many different ways and uh, you always have to be aware of them and that's something that we're going to focus on this week um, because it's not going to just be my job, it's not going to be Damien's job, it's going to be a collective job of how do we slow him down, how do we contain him and all the things that he can do with the rest of the players around him. You've played with other central backs obviously. What's it like playing with somebody like Perky, experienced, very dynamic? Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a very, very good player. He helps me uh, and the team a lot. Um, I think he's got obviously got a lot of experience. Um, he's hard-nosed. He's good technically. He's got all the intangibles that you, you would ask for in a good center back, and I think uh, he's starting to get on a roll here, um, you know, and I think uh, if you can see the way we're defending now uh, as opposed to the way we were defending earlier in the year, you can tell why teams are – it's hard for teams to break us down, and that's something that we're going to need to take into the weekend. Uh, kind of a new back four, I guess, uh, this uh, weekend with Ashton away, and uh, you've had to change it before, but... Uh... Yeah, no, I mean, you saw Wednesday, right? Ash wasn't able to step into the lineup. Warren slots in, it's like nothing happened. Um, and I think that's a testament to these guys. They're always ready. Um, and, you know, we've got, a, we've got a deep enough squad that we can just slide guys in and stick to the, to the team shape. And at the end of the day, that's, that's what's going to keep us to, to zeros. Do you feel you've fully settled as a as a starter, or are you still trying to find your way a little bit? No, I mean, I, I feel good. I feel comfortable. Um, you know, I'm, again, like I said before, I'll never be satisfied, but at the same time, um, I feel like we, we're defending well. Um, so I feel comfortable. Your coach was talking about, uh, when we asked him about the rough treatment Jovinko has been getting this season, more recently with the New York game, you get a pretty good view of what's going on ahead of you, and. Uh, are you surprised by the the treatment he's got this this season? How do you slow a guy like that down, right? You have to kick him. Um, I think that that you know refs are more aware of it now. Uh, I think that will be important going forward for ref to see it. But um, you know he knows he's going to go into games and get kicked. So Lionel Messi knows he's going to go into games and get kicked, and that's just that's what happens when you've got that much attention. But uh, good players find a way to get around it, and he's clearly done that so far. What's it like playing against him in practice? <laughs> he's good. He's very good. I mean. If you can learn to play against a guy like that, then you can play against anybody. And um, he's he's very smart, very technical, as as we all know. And uh, it's fun to have him on my side as opposed to having to play against him on the weekends. <laughs>